Hey guys, I am the Nerdy Silhouette, and I wish to welcome you back to Omori! So, it's been a hot minute since we played Omori. So, I have a controller today! So no more tippy tappings on my keyboards, huh? Alright. Hi friends! How are you guys doing today? I want some fruit! Yum. We feel like new. Munch, 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 munch. Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Ah, Mari. I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you seem to make everything look easy. Yeah, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly grateful. Graceful. Don't you think so, Amori? Yes. Aww. I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Bye, Mari! Let's go, friends. Let's go. Oh? <gasps> Mari! Are you okay? Oh! That's a big turn up boy. <laughs> or what were they? I don't remember what they were called. Oh, he's got a mustache! Hello, sir. Alright. Gotta remember, I can make him sad. I think I wanna make him angry. I totally blew through that. Um, you'll make him happy. I know way. a controller and it said press shift. I don't play too many PC games with controllers, so the fact that it did that was kind of interesting. Hell yeah, Kel! The music is so delightful in this game. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, if we uh, we can do this if we work together. It looks like I'm going to have to teach you a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time. Do you notice anything different, Amori? Uh, isn't it the bar at the bottom? Okay, yeah. You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Fight! Attack! Go! the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack for a limited time, you could use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Okay. Attack again. Oh. 
cast a hero. Look at Kel. They're not lit, so I can't do them. <coughs> Phew! Man, this guy really is tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. Alright. Alright. Trip. I tripped the sprout. I wonder... I wonder how much... I wasn't paying attention, but how much energy... Nice! We're full of energy! This is the perfect time to use our special attack. Amori, after you attack, press down to release energy. I hope you're all ready. Come on, everyone. Let's show this big guy what we're made of. that energy the power of friendship <laughs> holy shit man hooray and I learned to stab And there you have it, Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys, that was amazing. And that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself too. You know, I've actually been working on a book about all battles. Maybe we can all study together sometime. I'll give it to Amori to hold on to for now. I got a self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Amori, you should know, when we gain XP and level up, sometimes we also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Cal. I want to open my book, but I don't... There we go. Uh, Amori? Stab! Always deals a critical. Uh, ignores defense when Amori is sad. Oh. Uh, important. Self help. A self help book written about, or written by yours truly, Hero. Aww. I want to go over emotions again. So, overview. Uh, emotions can determine how effective attack is. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. Sad beats happy. Happy, angry. Angry, sad. Sad, happy. Okay. Emotions also defeat or affect different stats for both friends and foes. Please refer to the emotion chart in your important pack. I can't speak. In addition, the emotions of defeated foes can grant bonus effects. Happy foes have a higher item and calm drop rates. Or, and clam drop rates. Oh my god. While angry foes will give out more XP. Sadly, sad foes don't have any extra bonuses, but are typically easier to defeat. What about emotions you'd like? Okay, yep. Uh... Never mind. Alright, let's go. Basil, do you live in a shoe? It's so cute. It 
it's so rainy over here. Say cheese! Aw, it came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. That gives it character. Hope you guys- or hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it! Oh, sh uh, sure, sure thing. We all look so cute! How's my hair? I want to see! I want to see! Can I see too? Oh, hey, Amori. Did you want to take a look at the photo too? Oh, we're adorable! It's too bad that it came out kind of blurry. But you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Yeah! Woohoo! Another shot for the photo album! Move over, Aubrey. I can't see. Hey, stop pushing! You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Cal! Oh, oh wait, hold on. There, there's no need to fight. Me first! No, me! Guys, you're making Basil upset. Oh, stop, stop it. You guys are knocking me over. Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh! Basil! I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn to, how to get along. I'm sorry. We didn't mean it, Hero. Please, don't tell Mari. It, it, it's okay. D don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. I am disappointed in you, too. When you get invited to go inside a shoe, you don't fight. Basil's photo album. His most precious belonging. Let me help you, Basil. Are you ready to put the photos back? Yes. Yay, let's get started. I should have probably looked around first. <laughs> Darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Amori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure it out in no time. Uh, no I don't. Just read the descriptions next to it. A flower crown. Well, this is the recent one. We all fell asleep after eating. So this one... Goes here. Um... This one? That's the new one. Basil, I'm not sure if that's right. There, good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise to never fight with Aubrey ever again. Unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. strange. 
A photo must have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems so familiar. N no, that can't be. Mari, she's, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Mari, Mari, cat, meow. Not much to do around there. Cat, oh. Cat, I'm getting anxious. I know how to stab now. You better leave me alone, you stupid hand. Book. Yes. Anything new? Oh, it's so unsettling. Not the draw. I mean, the drawings are kind of unsettling, but. Oh. I don't remember that one being there. Uh. The heartbeat. Can I fight you guys now? No, I can't. You booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Open your journal. Uh, white space. Everything was okay. Today I visited my friends. Everything was okay. Stare at the screen. I like your trash icon. From, uh, the heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Cat! Help, cat. I'm lost. I'm lost, mother. I don't know. Why are there so many hands? They want to slap my ass. But I'm just child. Don't touch me, child. Light bulb. A light bulb hang from the ceiling. Wherever it is. Look into the light bulb. I feel like that's a bad idea. Never stare at a light, children. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. The heartbeat is driving me nuts. Don't touch me. I will karate chop you. Oh, I was going to say, oh, finally something, but it's the light. If I go down, I will eventually find the light bulb. Cat, meow, or is there? Meow, are you looking for a way out? There always is one, but meow, waiting for something to happen. I was hoping you were going to tell me, cat. Oh, I was going to say, it wasn't coming for me. Don't touch me. Trying to deliver the ultimate high five is not going to work. Go away. Aww. Let's go diagonally. They'll never catch me now. They're going to catch me. No! <laughs> Cat. door was here the last time. Can I cry? Is that the sketch? Oh my god, is that last page in the sketchbook all weird? It's still weird. But... What? Am 
am I missing? Oh. No, I don't want to do that. Oh. Amori, no. Look at all of us. These are all of our photo or all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? Did something happen to the other three? Other four, I should say, because I gotta include Mari. What? Something had to have happened. You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Um, boy, your name, good son, is Felix. I love that name. The boy's name is Felix? Yes. Felix, what big ears you have. No, I'm kidding. Hey, Felix, it's Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our, for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry. Mom, you messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might be cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for the both of us. Nerve-wracking, not wrecking. Ugh. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but... You might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. I wonder if the white room is just the white room and then like all of my friends in that fun foresty area. That's all in my head. Probably memories built into like just thoughts. An old computer. A table lamp. A wardrobe. An ordinary house plant. Nothing special about it. Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like you're doing chores right now. Oh, you don't feel like... Okay, yeah. You don't feel like doing chores. Some family photos. Fake house plant. Bathroom. A bathtub. Hi, Felix. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you. XOXO. Some towels and toiletries. A toilet. Let's 
so eerie. Small fake houseplant. One of two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but Mom likes to keep them around. Cardboard boxes. Are you sure you want to go downstairs? No, not yet. Cardboard box. Bookcase that has been cleared out. An empty picnic basket. Mari. Oh, so Felix is my name now. Mom's bed. The mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Who likes hard beds? Hard beds are so weird. I will go downstairs now. Yes. Slowly but surely. What is it, Felix? No. You don't want to go. You don't want to look down. And then back to bed, I guess. Would you like to go to sleep? Sure. If you're hungry, I can't go into my pocket. Also, I just noticed <laughs> there's a little icon of George Washington next to the money. That's so funny. Oh, an eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. Down. Who has a staircase as long? Oh my goodness. Let's go, Felix. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. And I want to say these are, they're not vines. They're long, jiggly hands. It's okay. You are hungry. You are hungry. Eat the hands. <laughs> Equip. I don't have anything. Oh, my knife. Watch out, hands. I'm loaded. Hand, I said watch out. That wasn't an invitation to just come for me. Stab the hand. Stab the hand! Oh no! Afraid? Fight! Skill. I don't have any skills. Attack. That's a something, alright. Run away. And I can't run. This is giving me Undertale vibes, where it's like a forced thing. Come on, Felix. Felix? Keep going. Take a deep breath, Felix. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You study yourself and remember how to calm down. Hi, 
I recovered some health, and now I'm neutral. You have no power over me, you giant hand monster. First aid kit. It's a house plant. There's nothing special about it. Family photos. Empty bookshelf. Kitchen! What do you mean, no? It's gotta be the kitchen. Oh, never mind. A fireplace. There are nails stuck in between the bricks. Hi, Felix. This is a note for Mommy. If you leave the house, remember to look both ways before crossing the street. Love you. XOXO. We have such a supportive mom. Family photos. A shoe rack. Outside. Oh, uh, what's this way? Kitchen. Food. You look in the fridge and find a cold steak. Take it? Yeah. Hopefully it's like a steak that's already been cooked before. I just gotta... Oh, yep. You should probably heat it up before you eat it. Microwave. Heck yeah, microwave! You got a microwave steak. Can I eat the snake? I can't eat the steak. I'll take the knife then. Pick up a steak knife. Ah uh, yes, a lovely well done steak. How well done. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Eat the steak! Felix is hungry. Is it not steak? Is this something where it's going to turn into like some twisted cannibalistic thing? I really hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. My tummy grumbles. My tummy has the rumblies. Oof. Your stomach didn't agree with that. That's because only hands can satisfy my tummy rumblies. Oh. Do I get to go vomit now? Vomit. Oh. Bunch of books. Got a bandage. Now I'm back in the kitchen. Vomit in the garbage can. Why didn't I sit in the chair to eat? That would have made sense, right? Go in there. No. Up the stairs. Bathroom. Toilet! That didn't sound like vomiting. You threw up. Well, at least I did it. Now I should feel better. Back to bed. Excuse me? I'm going to bed. I'm just gonna ignore it and go to bed. It's very eerily, very eerily drawn. Very spooky. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Cat! Meow. Waiting for something to happen. Is my, are my drawings still the same? Yep. Door! Would you like... To, I want to go through the door. Do I have to find my knife again? Screw you, hand! I'm tired of hands! You're gonna catch these hands in a moment. 
No! I caught the hand. First, I was gonna say, first off, do I have anything? And in Dream World, I'm still a Mori. I'm not Felix. So it seems like none of this has changed. Oh. Collect the keys to fill in the blanks. Incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. We're playing hangman, huh? Um, in the grass nearest dump, on a shrouded old bridge, between giant pinwheels, near a cast-off cartridge, underneath a wet pillow, within a large frame, beneath a door, in a lost pyre's flame, lying in a dark cell, trapped in a pink cage, in a hall of framed faces, far below a big stage, Spending time with a frog, near a game of, of roulette, a roulette, among other O's, in a water closet, in a small moving room, at the end of a plank, within a live shell, in a large bubbly tank, surrounded by goo, captured in a steel trap, in the gut of a whale, at the end of a map, in the field of white snow, past the end of the road. Um, well, the best thing to do is to guess. I'm gonna go with... Oh. Something fell nearby. I wanted to play Hangman. A map. Go away, hand. Oh. That's a headspace map. Interesting. Can I leave door? Open the door! Freedom! You can't keep me in this little white space. Forever. I found a knife the first time. I found a map this time. <gasps> Hi guys! Aubrey! Kellen, hero. Amori! Thank goodness you're here. Have you seen Basil? We can't find him anywhere. We should go tell Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. We will find Basil. I want some toast first. Yes. Om nom 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 nom. Okay. Make sure your friends aren't your toast. S going out, Amori? S Here's your allowance for the day. 200 clams. Thank you, Mr. Snake. The letter A. <gasps> That's why it's at 0 of 26. Hold on. Eleven keys left. I knew it. Let's let's take a peek real quick. There must be eleven keys left in the area. I'm 
I'm afraid of drowning. But, let's build sandcastles and see if we dig up a letter. I don't even know if we can dig up letters. Oh, I like how Audrey is making little bunnies in the sand. Oh. Actually, I want to just see one thing. Because it gets all dark and suspicious. How dark and suspicious will it get? This is anxiety. I'm curious. Oh, it's just it's just gonna repeat, it seems. Well, last we were concerned the little bloody footprints or whatever is missing. The last time we saw Basil, they were looking at a photo of Mari, which was disturbing, and they had gotten disturbed. And then it caused the entire headspace to collapse. I think I'm just gonna... My, my curiosity's peaked. Are there any letters over here? We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We should go see Mari. We just got a letter. I wonder where it's from. Dum -ba -dum -bum. Do you think Mari's got the B? You think it will go in alphabetical order or if it's just gonna be randomized? Mari! Amori, oh, you're okay! No. Don't worry. Don't worry me like that. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Amori? No. I'm afraid not. Last thing I remember was sorting photos with Basil in his house. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up in neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Amori. But I hope Basil is okay. Who's going to protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. We'll find Basil for sure. You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like these when we gotta stay positive. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something that we missed. That's the spirit hero. As And as always, I'll be here if you need me. Alright, so my predictions. Amori or Felix is the only real person here. Everything else is in Felix's imagination. Or in his mind space. It's in his head space. He probably doesn't have friends. Actually, wait, no, because Mom said something about Kel. Huh? Basil's missing again? It wasn't me this time, I promise. Now leave me alone. <laughs> now leave me alone to repent. You could repent by helping me find him. Magic mirror. A floating mirror. Look, it looks exactly like the photo that uh, Basil took. Your friends are smiling warmly behind you. <gasps> the eternal banana. Eternal banana. Do I spend time talking to everybody? I really don't want to, but I will. I'm going to swing to the moon. Come on, Van, put your head into it. 
Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Nose looks occupied. Seems like it's all the same text. Having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends have fun is enough for me. Hop. And a hop. And a hop. And a hop. Ah! <laughs> Hello, friends. Charlie and you protect that banana. The grass sure feels nice here. Want to join us, Amori? Yes. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Alright, I do have a care in the world, though. Basil is missing. I want to give flowers to someone, but they're only interested in puzzles. If only I could find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe then he would notice me. Yep, we did talk to everybody. I'm gonna talk to you because you're the last one. I like puzzles. Neb, that person over there likes you. Yes, valued customer. Let's see what you got. Uh, get some candy. I can get six pieces of candy. Have two apple juices, one thing of Jack's, and you know what? I'll buy a present too. Just so I have a little bit of everything. I'm just gonna go straight on to Basil's house. <gasps> Some of the flowers are wilting. I wanna water the plants. There. I will not let Basil's plants go bad. Okay, those look fine. Oh, yeah, those look fine. These guys look okay. Do I have to water all of them? No. It's only if they look bad, I guess. So that means I think we're going to be making multiple trips to Basil's house. And more and more flowers are going to just become wilted and sad. So far, there was only one. Bum, bum, bum. Mari! I'm going to save on your basket. There once was a shoe in the middle of the woods. P.U. it's a shoe. Oh. That was the thing in the back of uh, Amori's sketchbook. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Do you think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know. That doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considerate about these things. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. You guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the vast forest. No, it looks like he's been incinerated. Look, there's ashes on the ground. Well, now that Basil's here, let's poke around bookcase. It's a little dusty. Ah! 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 Achoo! <gasps> it's a dust bunny! <laughs> it's so cute! Alright. Well, I guess we're all going in. Oh. 
No, the poor dust bunny. I got five plans for de defeating the dust bunny. The fireplace is burning just as Basil left it. Small plants. They look a little sad. We should water them. And we should turn off his electric bill. Cause it, so that way he doesn't have any problems. Is, was it his birthday? There's a piece of cake with a candle in it. Or is that just a candle? Because there's multiple over here. Or is that a plant? I don't know. Oh, where could he be? Basil! Basil, I watered your flowers. Mari, he's not there. What do we do? Mari. Come on, Amori. Have some fruit. Fruit is good for you. Now you're starting to sound like my mom. But I'll eat some anyway. No, 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 no. We feel like Mew. Let's go. So, we have to just look around this forest and see if we can find them. I was just about, I was thinking like, we should call him. Amori, but Amori is me. Not Basil. Basil! Flowers are still doing good. Oh, Basil! Well, Pinwheel Forest is this way. The Vast Forest. Why would you call it Pinwheel Forest? <gasps> Bunny! Look at that watermelon. Oh, there's footprints. We saw those before. Does that mean the letter B is nearby? Basil! Basil, where are you? I know. I bet my pet rock will know what to do. Hector, be a good boy. Go find Basil. <laughs> yeah, Hector, go! <laughs> He's got a little chat thing. Did you find him, Hector? You tried your best, buddy. This is no time to fool around, Kel. Hey, why you? Hector was just trying to help. Let it go, you two. We need to keep ourselves focused. Squawk! Pinwheel Forest. Squawk, squawk! Foggy Bridge. Hi, Bunny. Alright. We're gonna attack the Sprout. But I don't want to hurt the bunny. The bunny looks like a slime from Slime Ranchers. I kind of want. Mm. I'm sorry, Forest Bunny. I was gonna say, I wonder if this is like one of those games where it's like, if you stab... Kind of... Okay, so un I'm thinking Undertale. So if you stab something, I was wondering if... Maybe it's not a good idea. I'm sorry, bunny. But we need XP. 
won't happen again. Is the letter B up here? No, bad sprout. You know what? We're gonna fight you. How dare you hurt Hero? Hit him right in the heart. I wonder... Okay, so I think Kel's passing system. I have Kel's passing system off. Because if I pass, that means I'll pass the ball to someone. I wonder if it does damage if I pass it between, like, Kel and Aubrey with, like, an enemy in the middle. Hi, bunny. I'm not going to attack you. I want to follow these prints. I can use cut. This is a pretty long ladder, huh? Eh, it's pretty tall. But not as tall as the one east of the stump. That one goes all the way up to space. You're really afraid of heights, aren't you, Amori? It's okay. We don't have to look up there. No, we do. We have to look up there. There's little footprints leading up there. No, we have to look up there. I was led here. It's either that or these are flowers. Hi, bunnies. That's a happy bunny. Finish it off. A little happy guy. We got thirty two XP. Ten clamps. Level four. All right. something this way. It's a watermelon. Oh, checks. <gasps> Basil. I know that's you. Just a tire swing. No, it's not just a tire swing. It was not just a tire swing. And you guys respawn? No, leave me alone. I don't want to fight you. I want this watermelon, though. Dandelion! No! Leave me alone! I don't want to fight you! I'm fighting it, yes. Wow. I'm sorry, hero. Everybody, make sure your piece of toast is not Hero. Do not eat him. Whatever you do. Pocket. Snacks. It's a good thing I bought candy. Should have bought more candy, to be honest. There's a bone here. Big bone. Candy! 
Dog? Shelter. Dog? I heard you. Oof. Nourishment. Oof. Doggy. No. You're a jerk sprout. You're mean. Apple juice. Okay. So we went up. Okay. No bunny. I can't kill you guys. It hurts. Okay, this way. What is this way? More of these dots. No, bad sprout. I'm gonna sit on the bench. I'm gonna travel across the longest bridge. <gasps> B! Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't think Basil is in this forest. But we haven't even searched the whole forest yet. We can't stop now. Cheer up, Aubrey. We'll keep searching until we find him. If we don't find Basil soon, maybe we should meet up with Mari at the playground and figure out what to do from there. I want this bee, though. I'm kind of... I'm kind of scared, guys. Ten keys left. I have a really bad feeling. Oh my goodness. Let's go, let's keep going this way. So, my bad feeling is, and I hope I'm wrong, I really hope I'm wrong, but we're going to collect all these letters, and, hold on. We're going to collect all of these letters, and we're going to have to play Hangman. And I really hope that it doesn't end with Basil being the hangman. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm really, 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 really concerned about this. Um, hi, I'm the Wise Rock. I give solid advice in exchange for clams. What kind of advice would you like to give? What would you like me to give? Now we got the money. Understood. Here's your advice. Pain doesn't last forever. I hope this helps. Wise Rock, you are the wisest rock I've ever met. And he's right. Pain doesn't last forever. I really like Amori's, like, double. Uh, look at Cal. You do better than that. I'll show you. Oh. Okay. And Hero, can you cook for Aubrey? No, she's toast. Might as well. Kel? How rude. I should head back to find Mari because that's what they told me to do 
that and oh train station Mari this is a long line for the train fresh lemonade fresh Line starts here. And I can't. I cannot save without Aubrey. Or not Aubrey, Mari. No bunny! Life jam. Cherry soda. Chocolate. There's so much stuff here. You got a banana smoothie. No bunny. Gonna need it. Three leaf clover. Tofu. There's so much stuff to do. No, bad bunny. No bunny, stop. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, I want that watermelon. It's blue. Must mean it's fancy. I got some checks. Who doesn't want fancy watermelons? Give me a bracelet. I'm getting all the good stuff. Okay. I didn't completely go this way. Hi, Burb. Squawk. Train station. Squawk, squawk. Foggy bridge. What's this way, though? All the way around. Hello, everyone. How is it going? Have you found Basil yet? Hey, Mari. No luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was a way I could help more. We're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know. Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east of the stump. We can't do that. Amori is afraid of heights. But what if Basil is somewhere up there? We gotta take our chances. I know, but... Amori! You're going stronger and stronger every day. You can handle climbing a ladder, can't you? Come on, little brother. Face your fears. It's natural to be nervous at first, but you know that we all believe in you. Come on, Amori. It's just one measly little ladder. What's the worst that can happen? I don't know about this. Do you think you're okay? Or do you think you're going to be okay, Amori? We'll do it for Basil. I mean, no, I myself am afraid of heights, but I will do it for Basil. Okay, uh, if, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. But if you get scared, you can always count on me to back you up. Thanks, Amori. You've got some real courage. Woohoo! Let's go, let's go to the ladder east of the stump. We'll see you later, Mari. Bye now, stay safe. Remember, Amori, you're stronger than you think. And I am going to save it here. Aw, 
Alrighty. So I'm going to leave it, this episode of Amori here. Um, next time, we will go up the giant ladder and see if Basil is hiding up there. But we shall see. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching Amori with and hanging out with me. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone!